Police brutality is a major issue in this country, and it seems to be getting worse. Unfortunately, too many black and Hispanic men are the victim of what seems to be the targeted victims. Police brutality to me is the organized, conscious or unconscious, terror meted out by police forces in this country against specific targets. Those targets used to be radicals, communists, uh, gays, um, but they've always been black and brown. Males, black and Latino males are definitely uh, disproportionately targeted um, and the reasons behind that is because of the rhetoric that our government pushes that a lot of like I said educational even educational spaces medical spaces push that for whatever reason we're seen as less than. I have family members that have been victims of unlawful arrests. I wouldn't say they were physically assaulted by police, but uh, arrested for reasons that most people probably wouldn't have been arrested. Um, I remember one time my husband was just double parked and our daughter was very young and I was in a store picking something up and a police car just came up and pulled up and said, you know, asked for his ID and he gave him his ID and he was, I guess, running a record and just trying to find something uh, in my husband's background uh, to see if he could write him a summons or, or, write, or arrest him. And um, he spent maybe 20 minutes looking him up in the system. And I think for some reason, he was so accustomed to coming across people that have a record that he just couldn't believe that my husband didn't have a record. During the making of this documentary, two incidents of police brutality has occurred. It was taste right there. As Donna Gowdy shows us, there's just a small mark on her daughter's back from the barb of a taser shot. What you're seeing is being described as excessive use of force captured on video. Baltimore police say Deshaun McGreer was known by this officer who asked McGreer for his ID. Look closely. McGreer shouts something, then slaps away the officer's hand, and that's when the officer begins repeatedly punching McGreer in the head and body. McGreer is pushed to the ground. The officer appears to pounce on top of him. Police brutality has been alive in the American press as early as 1872 when the Chicago Tribune reported the beating of a civilian under the arrest at Harrison Street Police Station. Police brutality dates us back as to the 19th and 20th century. Many of the cops expressed excessive force towards Italian immigrants and Mexican Americans due to hostility towards Hispanics or people of color, as well as harassment towards homosexuals and Muslim Americans. But the vast majority was still towards African Americans. Racism back then was the main cause to these attacks. The interactions between cops and blacks back then started from the era of the Great Depression since blacks started moving from the south to the north for a better way of life and then leading up into World War II. Many white people in the police departments were uncomfortable or racist towards black people. And since many white people were racist towards African Americans at this time, the police followed those beliefs and acted against blacks as they are criminals and not human beings. We don't have a way to stop it and we can't stop it coming from our side. It has to be a cultural, systemic cultural movement for them that's saying, you know, you are a police officer, you do have a job to do, but you, in some cases you don't have to brutalize because some people just, they, they gave up. They have your handcuffed. There's no more reason for you to uh, continue to 
you know, you know to be in, and I feel powerless because we don't have a voice for it. Because if you speak out against it, protest, you get, they ramp up, they ramp it up. Then they start brutalizing you even more. Keep your head up. Like we, we have a lot going on. We have so much stacked against us. Um, but there are folks who love us. There are folks who are working for our, our betterment. There are folks who are working towards liberation for our people.